In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can scan barcodes using a simple USB barcode scanner directly into QuickBooks forms such as invoices, purchases, bills, checks and so on. So for that I'm going to show you a quick example. For that I'll use an invoice. So in QuickBooks I open an invoice that I've already started and saved. Now what I can do is initialize the barcode scanner that's attached to this computer. You get it? you'll see that this little application has popped up in front of QuickBooks. And this is how we can monitor the status of the scanner. So what is it telling us it's ready to start scanning into invoice number three? So we select our can of tuna that we want to scan into and our barcode reader and scan the barcode. Biddy looks up the barcode and matches that to the correct item in QuickBooks and inserts that into the invoice. Now, if we had multiple items that we wanted to scan in at the same barcode, we can do that and it increments the quantity by two and so on. MIDI supports all common barcode formats, including variable price barcodes that are used on grocery items. So what I mean by that is an item that has a variable price, which is included in the barcode itself. So for example, this is we're going to scan this chicken thigh fillet. We'll scan it in. It recognizes the item from the barcode and also takes the price from the barcode and inserts that into that row at the same time calculating the quantity. Same principle applies. We have another item of the same type and we scan it again. MIDI will add those together on the same row and you'll see the quantity increase to Another great feature of MIDI is if you scan in a barcode that currently isn't in QuickBooks, then it gives you the opportunity to add in a new or assign it to existing QuickBooks item. So let's do that with this barcode that we have here. So MIDI has prompted us that the item is not found. So we can either assign it to existing item, add it to a new one, or ignore the barcode altogether. So in this example, I'm going to assign to an existing item. It pulls up a list of items that currently do not have a barcode attached to it. And we'll select that as the broccolini and OK. Now, the barcode is automatically assigned to that item now and is then inserted into the invoice. So now we've finished scanning into this particular invoice. I'll show you how we can also scan into other types of transactions within QuickBooks. So I'll go into a bill that we've already created, file, initialize the scanner for that particular transaction and click play. And it'll show you we're inserting to bill number two. Now we can just continue through scanning our items into this particular bill. And so on.